A huge award is handed down in this freight train accident. A year after a train and a car collided, three people seriously hurt will receive more than $54 million. It's possibly the largest verdict of its kind in state history. Good evening, everyone. The jury found Illinois Central and the train crew both liable for the accident. It was January 9th of last year when an Illinois Central train struck a Ford Explorer at a Bolingbrook Railroad crossing. And according to their attorneys, the three people in the Explorer suffered severe brain injuries. But now they are in line to receive millions of dollars. ABC 7 Sarah Schulte is joining us live with more on the story. Sarah? Well, Cheryl and Rob, while the huge award won't bring the victims back to the way they were before the accident, the money will help Lilia Apaleo and her parents get the best possible care. The victims' attorneys also hope the big jury verdict will send a clear message to the railroad industry about the importance of safety. 40-year-old Lilia Apaleo was driving her parents, Fidel and Francisca Velarde, to the eye doctor when they were struck by an 8 million pound freight train. Apaleo's Ford Explorer landed several hundred feet away. The accident left Apaleo and the Velardes with severe brain injuries and dependent on 24-hour care. They've gone from a life of activity and independence to a life of dependence on their family and they are a burden on their family. The Velarde's daughter Lilia's injuries were the most severe. She's been reduced from a competent 40-year-old mother, a wife and a worker, to a, a frightened 9-year-old kid. A jury awarded Apaleo and the Velarde's more than $54 million after finding Illinois Central and the Chicago Central and Pacific Railroad at fault. On the day of the crash and 10 days leading up to it, the crossing lights and gates were not working. Illinois Central admitted that a dispatcher mistakenly told the train crew that it had been repaired. This accident occurred just three months after attorney Tim Cavanaugh settled a case involving a very similar accident on the same track in 1998. One has to wonder if there is not a systematic failure at the Illinois Central. Kavanaugh and Apaleo's attorney, Terrence Lavin, hope when it comes to railroad safety, this huge jury award will send a clear message to the railroad industry. In terms of safety, what they have is a culture of casualness. You listen to the dispatch tape, they sound pretty casual about the safety of the motoring public. Tomorrow, the attorneys will release the dispatcher's tape during a scheduled news conference. Illinois Central and the Chicago Central and Pacific Railroad were unavailable for comment tonight. According to the victim's lawyers, the dispatcher and the train crew were fired right after the accident, but they were rehired a short time later.